again because we had some technical difficulties. I did try and start this when I said I would at 18.15 UK time. And what I'm doing today is I'm going to just put some final finishing touches on the giant Stolfo bean plushie, aka the giant war bean. This is what his face looks like so far at least. I'm wondering if the hair needs to be bumped out to the sides a little bit. Okay, I am just I'm just going to fix this. So I'm building out the wall as well because I think it should be a little more even, even around the bean. So, yeah. I think that to make this better it would have to be huge so I could make it look more rounded and more proportionate to the actual bean itself but I think that might be a bit difficult to do at my current Minecraft building skill level so maybe when I am better at building I shall do that see that there are two of you watching hello and after I'm done building out this bean I'm probably going to mess around in Minecraft a bit more I've been doing a lot of fishing recently I've got a lot of animals that need names so if anyone wants to help me name cats or dogs or my llama please you know, drop suggestions uh, they're all color coded by collars uh, let's build out this giant bean sofa heel to the big bean it is a monument built by the bean queen it is her war bean. He is the bean of heaven. Big, big bean Stolfo. He is very giant. This is the bean that shall bring about the end of humanity. <laughs> as long as the bean queen you know, keeps an eye on him and makes sure he's contained. continue building him. I'm also building out his little beanie bum so it sticks out from the cape a bit more like it does on the bean plushie. I'm also building this out so that his little bean gears aren't too close to the wall because I don't like how that looks and it also makes it easier to actually get all around the sides of the bean. I don't think I want to build any more like of the plinth. I think he's got enough plinth for now. The little bean gears are sort of wiggling in the air, but they they do on the plushie. Like he's he's kind of like a little round potato shape with little feet on him. So he does, so his feet don't quite touch the ground. His little bean gears don't quite touch the ground. It's quite cute and funny. Okay, let's go back to the house. It is getting dark. They also want to get more black wool. Oh gosh. And the sheep got out. I am a terrible, terrible shepherd. All my sheep are running away. No, not my sign. I need my sign. But there is a reason I have these signs on me. Uh, you will see in a bit. Not right. Where did my sheep go? Where did the grey sheep go? There he went. There is grey sheep. Okay, here's that boring part of the stream again where Holly tries to get her sheep back in the pen. This happens every stream because I'm really bad at keeping sheep in Minecraft. Or so it seems at least. There. I think 
think I have enough wool to do the little bean bomb. Okay, I will go take a sleep and I will come back in the morning to finally finish the bean. I shall build the bean, he will be completed. Okay. You can see some burning monsters around there. None of them will come close to my bean. I think it's a monument to beans. Mm. How cute he is. Let's go and have a look, a little walk around of the giant cursed Astolfo bean plushie. Here's the face. And now I, I keep wondering if I need to add more to his hair. Because I feel like maybe I do, but I'm not entirely sure. I mean, have a look at him from a distance, so. Get some looks in from this. Let's go up the mountain, have a look at our bean. I just want to see what he looks like from like higher up as well. Uh, I'm going to do like full walk around of him for this episode. I'm going to do a lot of displaying my bean. I don't build things like this in Minecraft very often. Oh wow, <laughs> you can see his face. Very big and very blurst, I think. I wonder if he's more cursed or more blessed. I'll leave that up to you to decide. So here we have the haunted Astolfo bean plushie. We see he has his face with his little bean mouth and his hair and his braid. His little black bows that he has. All three of them. His little... His fluffy cape. His bean gears. Okay, his little beady bum sticking out there. Ew. I was say, do I need to add more to his little beady bum? No, that's that's his beady bum sticking out there. From sure underneath his cape. If you don't have one of these, one thing that I do recommend is someone on YouTube has made a video reviewing uh like reviewing this plushie okay and this is the most important part of the bean if anybody is familiar with the meme we know what to do here about what this thing could do, you know, we know what he's capable of. Look how big he is. He's so huge, he could destroy a lot. This gigantic bean monument. Oh no, it's a big giant bean. It's the war bean of the bean queen. And I think that might be it completed for now, at least. Like, I keep looking at it thinking, I feel as though it needs more. But at the same time, I'm not 100% sure what else it needs. So it might be hard to fully build this properly. Because I'm looking at it and he's got, like, quite a bit of flicky hair underneath his main hair. I keep thinking that maybe he needs more adding to it, but at the same time, I don't think I know what. So for now, that is the Haunted Astolfo Bean Plushy Monument completed. Um, and let's go 
and get us some name tags for all of the animals we have. And I would like you to help me name them. I'm going to go make some fishing line. Because we don't have many. Okay. some point when I have face cam I will make a video talking about my figurine and plushies collection and I will show this little guy off to, to you because he is a very interesting little guy very cute little bean plushie aren't you bean Stolfo? yes you are you're a very cute bean yeah it's like Jim has suggested that I make a big one next to it eventually um, which might be a good idea when I'm better at building and that one might look better For now, I'm really not very good at building so that's what I'm gonna leave it as for now You can see my big bean Big bean build challenge I'm gonna go and try and get some fish no, not some fish. I don't want fish right now. What I want right now is name tags. I'm going to say part of the chill Minecraft streams, they are a little bit of a sit and chat. So I'm just going to talk a little bit while I go and fish for this name tag. I do really like fishing in Minecraft. It's very fun. I like video games where you can fish. If it wasn't for Jim, I'd probably just spend all of our near streams fishing because I like it. It's very fun and adorable. And I just, IRL, I really like fish. So I'm lucky that I live quite close to an aquarium. I like that. Let's see. Let's get some fish and some name tags. Like I was trying to get some earlier because Usually I find that I get quite a few when I just sit and fish for a while. I tried it earlier today and I still didn't. I've only got one name tag in this entire like world that I've been playing in. Let's go and try and get some. And if not, I might go and do some cave exploring soon. I see we have two, another viewer. Hello there. I'm sorry that you're just looking at me fish right now. I will show you the giant thing that I have finished building this stream. And if you can see anything that you think I should do with it, let me know. Because it's... It's big. Yeah, it's, I'm very proud of it because it's like I don't normally build things in Minecraft. And I thought I was going to have absolutely no idea what to do here. Because I've seen somebody who made a really cool Minecraft build of one of these, but they made it as like a big 2D pixel art, like on a wall. And I was very impressed by that. This is very different to theirs. They also made a mod which puts the bean in the game, like beans as creatures. I think it was a skin for the slime. But I thought that was adorable. So, behold coming past my house the giant bean astolfo monument look at it look at its face look how cursed it is it's so huge why would anyone bring this into the world it has giant bean gears. it's so big for such a small plushie, he truly is the, the bean king. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> okay. Is the existence of this bean a blessing or a curse upon this world? 
I do not know. We shall find out soon. Okay. So I'm going to gear up for some cave exploring and see if we can do some cave exploring this game because I've been wanting to do some in the stream for a while now. So one thing that I think is interesting about these streams is that people seem to really like watching them after I've made them. So like I found that they tend to have quite a few views sometime after the stream has finished when we look at the VODs for them. I'm not sure who is really liking these but I'm glad that you like them. I shall probably continue making them for a while because they are very nice and very chill. Very good to do on a day like this when I come home from work and I sort of just want to play Minecraft and chat. Okay, so let's see, I'm sure I have, okay, well, what I'm looking for really is, um, coal, let's get some coal, and I definitely have some picks, um, okay, do I, I don't know thought I did. I oh, know I can't use that stone. I have excess cooked stone, damn it. Okay. I shall prepare myself to go and dig in the name of the bean of the bean king. And the war bean that shall doom doom us all if the bean queen lets it go. But I am a good bead queen, I shall protect us from him. Okay. I have stuff ready. In the morning I shall display the bean. And now I can walk out of my house every morning before I go and decide, do I mine? Do I fish? And I can hail the bean. I can hail his glory. His, the, the giant bean of Stolfo. Look how perfect he is. He is blessed and cursed and he shall bless and curse my day when I want to go out into the world and go down into the mines. Do not know what I do with my life. I just built a gigantic bean. Has, is the world better or is the world worse off because I have created this thing? There was a hole nearby that I wanted to try digging up a bit. Because I've got one of those biomes that's just full of holes. And I want to explore them. I know that sounded a little bit weird, but okay. Let's see, where was I where was I looking when I found it? One of the ones I keep regularly jumping over. Let's go explore. It is a wonderful world in Minecraft today. Let's go and explore this wonderful world. Gigantic spear just stabbed to the ground and the giant bean, the war bean, blessing us all and simultaneously cursing us. Because this is what I do in Minecraft now. I make stupid weeby things. 
all I do in life is stupid and weeby and kind of pointless, but now I can do it for the entertainment of other people. Yes. I remember where that other hole was. It was one where I found that last sheep close to. I don't want to go dig up around here because I want to go digging up and exploring more places. I need to find that I didn't bring the torches I made. Brilliant. I've been doing this a lot recently. Um, I think it, I'm not sure entirely why, but the other day I. So I usually cycle to work because it just gets me there faster and I don't live too far from where I work. And I walked out of my apartment building into the car park wearing my bike helmet and forgot my bike. I had to run back and get it. It's like, how can I forget the thing that I go to work on, you know? It's like, oh, one day I forget my lunch, the next day I forget my bike. It's like, wow, what is happening to me? I am just... My brain is just slowly shutting down as the week goes on. Now I go mining and I forget my torches that I thought I made. So why did I pick up that coal and those sticks? Because, well, that's the whole point of these streams is to just be chill. I'm not doing anything too serious and I'm not going anywhere fast. So let's chill. Uh, yeah, Jim and I should be getting on with the main series, with the two main series that we're doing uh, pretty soon. We've got a couple of days off, so. Oh, where did I put the sticks? I had some, where did I put those sticks I had? I was holding on to some sticks. I put them there, that's where they are. Okay, let's. See, 60, 60 sticks should be fine. Let's put that in there. Cook some salmon because we probably should have more food. I'd like to do more of these with Jim again soon. Because um, I like streaming with Jim. I like playing Minecraft with Jim. We're very nice. It's very nice and cool because he's the guy who actually builds stuff. We'll probably work on squad streaming that eventually. Okay, so let's go explore this little cave near the sheep. I'm going to call it the sheep cave. I'm gonna go and see what's down there. I'm a little mine the way Jim makes them underneath the house. I'm gonna go do what I like to do, which is find caves and just thoroughly explore them. I know I have one near the village that I'm exploring, but I would rather dedicate a whole stream to that. And today is just, you know, completion of the bean. I'm considering at some point, maybe if I get enough gold, just make a big gold saddle on top of the bean. So the bean queen can have her throne atop the war bean. <laughs> and really will be the bean of heaven. Or, oh, I don't know where beans come from. I'm sure that wherever beans come from is very cute little place. Maybe it is actually horribly cursed. And you just can't really tell because it's full of cute beans. 
Okay, I'm going to go down here quite slowly. Ah, there's more, play, more ways out of here. More ways through here. But let's go do us a heckin' explore because we can. To do let's get all this it's, it's nice to be the one getting getting things because I know a lot of the stuff I have all the ores I have Jim got that's why I like to play Minecraft with Jim because he gets straight to the digging and the mining while I sit around like I will make us the farm and be the cute little Minecraft farm wife so that is what I like to do in this game Oh, there's a lot of iron in here. Well, at least in the spot the cave, there's a lot of iron. I'm going to get that because I know I don't have too much left because Jim's been using it to make armor. Um, and I will take it so that I can make more of that stuff. Okay. And there's another area down here that I need to explore. A ah, little secret passage on there. Oh, and there's just uh, it's only a little mine, okay? But at least it's a nice iron spot, so I've got that, and I'm getting more of that. Just stock up on this stuff, you know? It's one of those things that you sort of forget to keep mining, but you need, but then eventually you run out of it, so you've got to keep mining it. Ooh. I don't know. This is the kind of thing I look for when I go and I. I, I, oh my god, yes! Oh my god, I got an ender pearl. That is amazing. Wow, um, that is cool. I don't think I have one in this game so far. Maybe, maybe I will eventually go to the end in this little world I have been playing. Um, hmm. I can dig out here a bit more though, because I am going to go explore this area. This is... really want to find a, like, mine shaft. Because those are fun. There's a lot to explore there. And that'll be fun for you to watch and fun for me to do. And you can watch me get lost and panic a lot. I'm very panicky, and that is kind of I'm very panicky at video games. At least I know where I can come and get more coal when I run out of coal. There's some deer right down here. That is nice to know. Let's see. How do I get out of here? Get out this way. Yes. I know I don't. Duh. Am I locked in the, the tiniest cave? Yes. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Hey, hey. How do I get out of here? Ooh. More cave. A nice little cave. It's very chill to walk through. Oh, hello. Oh wow, it gets deeper. It 
gets deeper and deeper. And there's more iron. I will go back when my torches run out, but I'm enjoying exploring this place. Ooh. Oh, whoa. Oh my god, I was not expecting this to be like this big. There's a lava source there, which is probably going to be good at some point. Wow. Oh man, um, don't fall down there. There is stuff down there that I want though. So maybe try and make a way down there? follow Jim's way of marking out caves. <laughs> okay, you can see that through there. Let's go this way. Uh, hmm. I want to see if I can go under here. Yes, I can. I can make a little way under there. Haha, <laughs> this is my little sneaky way. Can I get that gold? I would like some of that gold. Was it gold or was I looking at um, more iron? Because I'm pretty sure it's gold near the lapis. Either way, I want that lapis. Okay, yay, look, we found nice lapis this turn. I mean, I'm sure I have some in this game already. Um, get some iron as well, because there's a lot of iron around here. That's it. I am sure I saw gold. Maybe I didn't, and I just saw some really nice looking iron. Hmm. This is one way that I tend to find my way out of caves. It's like, uh, where has where has Holly clearly made a load of new stairs? If we're going that way. Yeah. Damn it! I thought it was gold. It was iron. Tricked myself. Damn it! Damn you, shiny lava! You make everything look nicer. Well, I am running out of, uh, oh, I'm running out of torches, so I'm getting myself out of here. Um, oh god, there's something over my head, slightly. There we go, get me out of here this way. Um, which way did we go? We went this way, didn't we? No. Then we went up. That way. Yes. There, there we go.
Okay, thinking time. Which way did we go? Which way did we come in here? <laughs> Try to follow the gym method, but maybe I get lost. No, I definitely made that. I definitely came through that way. Definitely came through here. Hmm. I was looking, I'm like, where, where have I gone? Seriously, I am, oh, please don't tell me I am lost. I do not want to be lost in this cave. I want to get out of this cave and go home to my little Minecraft house and my little Minecraft doggos tonight. Let's see, so we came down this way. And I know I built that because I came down from there. That there. No, that's that's dark. There's Skelly Bro there. Is it just my screen looking weird, or can I see the sky? I don't think I actually can. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Here we go, this way. As much as I love exploring caves, I do get lost a lot in caves, so maybe I should do that with Jimmy. Because Jimmy knows what he's doing. Jimmy is the pro gamer, I'm the noob. And eventually, maybe that will become more even, and we will both be the cute pro gamer couple that you get to see my journey from noob to pro gamer. See? That's the whole point of this. And you can see me being a noob at Minecraft too. Even though I've played it before. I've played it quite a bit. I've never gotten to the end though. So let's go take that end dry home. Because that is good. End dry and a pearl. I, I get the two confused. I'm just that newbie. <laughs> da, 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 da. I really wish you could make saddles because I know exactly where I want to go to get my horses. But, oh no, now I'm in the water. Get damn it. Let me get out of here. At least I can make little stairs out. And that's useful next time I fall in the hole. What are we doing? I am num num num. Okay. I have been cursed by the bean. That's why I got lost in there. I lost the way of I lost sight of the bean's light. I was cursed. Let's see, where am I going? This way. Back to the house. Back to the big deer right turret. You can sort of see the back of the bean there as well. You can sort of see the bean emerging from behind the tower. I love, I love the hair. 
just, this whole thing just looks so strange when you see it emerging from behind my house. I love it though. It looks so creepy. Thank you, cooked salmon and iron. Some lapis and the ender pearl. Do you have lapis in this game? Okay. So. Another thing I want to do is go to the village and see if anything different is happening. Um, like, we were trying to level up those villages so that they could possibly breed. I'm not sure if anything has changed there because I haven't actually had a look. Maybe, maybe the bean, maybe his wisdom will encourage the villagers to produce more villagers so that there can be a happy village there as opposed to just these two these two guys living in a little mountain village together there's nobody else there's just these two so what happened to everybody else who used to live there did anybody else used to live there was it just these two guys the whole time Maybe they ate the other villagers. Do, 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 do. Let's go to the village. I always go this way because I know I'll get lost if I go any other way to the village. At least without the map, which is kind of what I'm doing now. I'm kind of playing the way I normally do, free playing, no map. Um, because that's how I normally do it, I guess. I don't normally make maps. Okay, let's run around and find our... So I really like how noticeable that mountain is, because it's like, okay, well that's where the village is. I have named it Mountain Village, which is not very imaginative, I know, but if I... Because I do like, normally like to name the villagers things. But for some reason in this game, I can't think of anything cool. So if anybody has any ideas for what you think a village should be called, just, yeah, let me know. Just thing you know, it is linked on my Twitch, but I do have a Discord. Uh, Jim and I do have Discord. It's Discord for the channel. It's not my personal Discord. Um, and if you want to chat to me and Jim, you can chat to us there. And if you want to talk to me about things you think would improve these streams, you can go and do that there as well. Just, you know, if you, if you like, just watching me play Minecraft, you may like just chatting with me. Anyway, you know, feel free to send me some memes. Feel free to send me weird shit. Let's see, where is the blacksmith guy? Well, not the black, he's not a blacksmith, he's a leather worker. It's still just this guy who doesn't have a job. I tried to get him a job by putting out the you know, the, the compost. But it seems like he's just not interested. I think I thought that would make them be a farmer. I'm pretty sure I've done that before in another Minecraft world. Maybe I've just got to build more things and see what he, you know, picks up. And then we have, so where's the leather dude? Come on, leather guy. I know you're around. And there's only two people here. So it's not hard to find the specific dude you want. Right? Hmm. Whew. Where are 
these guys? Come on. I feel like they need names. But I really cannot think of anybody. I can't think of anything to name them. I am really bad at thinking of names on the spot. Do -do. Come on, where are you? Dearly, don't go very far normally. Because sometimes. Look, I've made you doors, I have made you beds. It's not this guy, it's somebody else. There's two people in this village, there's you and there's your friend who will trade leather for emeralds. I'm like, well, where's the other dude? Come on. This is starting to just weird me out even more. Please tell me he hasn't found another way to just fall into the hole. There was a big hole under this village for some reason and I had to fill it in. Hello? Gosh, this is... Come on, where are you? spawn point set there so that I can just keep coming back here. God damn it, where has the other dude gone? I'm really like getting weirded out by like this village. It's so creepy. Like, where are all the other people? Has this other guy just disappeared? Hello? It's like so spooky. I don't like it. God damn it, right, I'm gonna try and find him. And if he's not around, then... I'm gonna go back to my normal place, my normal house. Do I need to try and find a new village with new villages to trade stuff with? God, I really don't like this place. It's like, what is it, freaking Silent Hill? Or whatever else, wherever is this other spooky town in spooky movies and spooky games. Speaking of which, I may be playing Silent Hill 2 at some point. Probably will be once we work out how to stream off the PS2. That'll be that'll be fun. Um, I like horror movies, but I've never really played horror games, so. Um, I'm sure I'm going to be terrible at them. Hello, Mr. Mr. Blacksmith? Are you alive? Mr. Leatherworker? You here? No? Okay. Ah, uh, well, I'm gonna go back to my house. I don't like this place. There's, there's something weird going on. Oh God, what if I go up the hill, like... 
I'm going to put some signs up just saying, like, you know, beware, don't come here. Because I don't know what's going on, but, like, Is this just monsters coming and, and killing them and not me not noticing? There's that guy. There's one golem. And all the animals. And I'm now... Hmm. Yeah, don't, 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 don't visit the mountain village. It's... It's a very cursed place. It's maybe more cursed than that bean. Hello? Anybody here? No? Well, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Um, I don't know, maybe that other guy killed the leather worker dude and that's why this place is like completely empty now. Maybe the reason I found him down in that hole is because the leather worker was suspicious of him and trapped him down in that hole. So. But now I let him out of that hole not knowing and he's killed the leather worker. And so we, we have to be careful guys, we can't come back here. We, we must stay away from the one man in this village. I don't know what his name is. Maybe I don't want to know. Yeah, so we have built a gigantic bean. We have found that that village is definitely um, a spooky place that we should not be going. And we did a little bit of cave exploration. So I might go... F there are so many caves to thoroughly explore in this game. Or at least in this world. Which is nice. Um, back in the safety area of the gigantic spear here. Okay. So let's go back. Go back to our house. Go back to my beautiful deer right turret. Guarded by my war bean. Okay. So yeah, um oh god, maybe I should just like warn everyone away from that village. I should fill it with golems to protect people from him. That's why he refuses to work a job block as well. It's like, go. Uh, Polly? Yeah? Are you still streaming? I'm about to finish. Oh. <laughs> I'm back at the house, guys. Uh, with the safety of my dogs and my sheep and uh, the, my guardian war bean. <laughs> How's it look now? I shall show Jim is here guys, so uh, I shall show big walk around off the bean. <laughs> oh, it's still so cursed. It's so I don't know what else I can do <laughs> for its face, but I <laughs> It's pretty good. <laughs> I was like, is there any way to make a bean astolfo that doesn't look cursed? Got this little bum sticking out a bit from his cape. <laughs> And then, the most important part of the bean is... Oh yeah, I thought something was sort of missing. So you've got like... You've got like ribbons? Yeah, he's got his little black hair ribbons. I kind of think they should maybe stick out a bit more. You think so? Yeah, because they... If you look at it, they look a bit like... They're a bit small. Oh, okay, so if I go... Do I have enough black wool to build those out? 
I have grey wool. I have white wool that I can dye black. So yeah, maybe may maybe that'll look less cursed if we I don't think we'll make it look less cursed, but <laughs> if we make his ribbons a little bit bigger, <coughs> we might make him a little bit cuter. God damn it. So yeah, this is this is the war bean I've decided. For some reason, um <laughs> I guess I'm being pretty based here, but for some reason, um, these streams are our most watched streams. I don't, I don't know why. As well, it's like, come on, guys, do you not want to see me get salty as fuck at like Doom and Nia? No, we want to see you make a big bean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can make like a kind of ribbonish kind of pattern. Okay, so you you won't drop Connie because you're holding shift. Yeah, I'm trying to work out where should I be to place that. Um, there I we wonder go. If that's enough. I don't know. It'll stick out just enough. I mean, if you look at the plushie, it kind of doesn't yeah, stick out the most stick out for miles. too much. But yeah, you know, it's still enough that you can see it more. Yeah. Oh, God. I don't. I don't know. Maybe the pick is the best thing for one. Yeah. I have just been like hitting it with whatever. Oh, I don't God. really know. What, I don't think there's really a thing specifically for one. So, what are the things? What, what does the sign say? <laughs> right. You know, the most important part of the haunted Astolfo bean plushie. Let's let's have a look. I wanna have a look at it now. Does it look Yeah. yeah. I think the... those ribbons stand out the way they should do. Oh that's the tie. There's like a tie thing on Yeah, the, he's on got the, like on the hair. He's got yeah. three little ribbons and he's got one on his braid and two sort of up on top of his head. Which is what I have tried to re recreate here. <laughs> it's recognisably the bean, which is, yeah. is impressive by itself. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's clearly a bean. It's clearly a Stolfo. <laughs> if you know what a Stolfo looks like. <laughs> it's so weird. I know. It's, it's like, how do you turn a round bean into blocks? But yeah, I think that's the best I'm going to be able to do. This is the haunted Astolfo bean plushie as a giant Minecraft monument. <laughs> Praise the bean! You should like um, capture a bunch of villagers and like make them, you know, make them live in the bean. Oh gosh, there is one village nearby. There was like two people there, and now there's just one. Okay, guys, I think that's it for this stream. It's been about an hour. Um, I will... See, I'm going to give Jim a, big, a Minecraft building challenge because he challenged me to build this bean. I think Jim needs to build a giant Wednesday monument. A giant frog hailing Wednesday. Oh, I could, I could get really way too into that. There you go then, that's that's your challenge. You must build a giant frog to ring in the Wednesday. Alrighty, well, I'll try. Uh, yeah, we will see you again soon.